Hello, so welcome to another flip through of a slightly different deck. So this is the City Walks London deck, I suppose, is, is what I could call it. 50 Adventures on Foot, because it has um, cards in it, just like a deck. I'll open it up in a moment and I'll flip through all the cards so you can see. This is probably the most useful thing I've ever bought for navig navigating my way around London since I moved to Nova Scotia. So when I lived in the UK, what I tended to do all the time, me and friends, would we would just travel up to London in the morning, spend all day wandering around and travel back in the evening. Didn't use a map, knew where we were going really, just wandered around. And uh, if, we, if I didn't get to see everything I want, wanted, then I would just go up another day. Now, of course, I'm visiting. Um, you know, time is, is of a premium, so I want to do it in a slightly more organised way. And this is really useful for that. So, I bought this, well, I know I bought it after 2011 because that's the publication date on it. And I'm not sure when, but I have had it for a number of years and yeah, use it every time I go back. I use it before the trip, uh, during the trip as well, uh, obviously. And uh, it, it's fairly, I'm just trying to see if I can give you some idea of the size relative to other things. Well, okay, here, here's a, if you know how big a, there's a Magic the Gathering deck box, so that gives you some idea. For those that play Magic the Gathering. Um, so inside of here we have a guide I suppose on uh, how to use the cards and it's pretty straightforward and uh, there's a, a map of all the areas it covers. It's quite nice because it, it does also cover down here Kew and Richmond and then over here in the Greenwich area which is pretty cool so it's not like although most of it is fairly tight around here it does go out to certain other areas which is super handy and there's a key there so there's 50 of these and yeah it just runs through so on one side you have the walk described and it has all these key places. Now of course hopefully over time none of these have, have closed. I don't think so far when I've used these it's been a problem but you know that is always a danger. Obviously they try and pick well-known landmarks and then on the back is the actual route of the walk. So let's flip through then. Green Park and St James's Park. Mayfair 1 Deluxe Shopping. Now you'll notice some of these routes are point to point and some of them do sort of go in a circle. You'll also notice that they tend to start and finish at a tube station. So Mayfair 2 Historic Highlights. Soho 1, Chinatown and Old Compton. Soho 2, Berwick Market to Carnaby Street. Covent Garden 1 in and around the market, Covent Garden 2, Seven Dials and Beyond, Holborn. The other thing with this as well you'll notice is some of them obviously overlap and what's nice is you can often do one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. Somerset House. Temple, St Paul's, and the city, Barbican, Tower Bridge and the South Bank, Borough Market and beyond, South Bank, Lambeth, 
Waterloo to Whitehall, Embankment to Trafalgar Square, Knightsbridge, Belgravia, Chelsea 1, Kings Road, Chelsea 2, Neighbourhood Highlights, you can see that's pretty straightforward, the Chelsea 1, uh, Battersea Park, South Kensington, Holland Park, Notting Hill 1, Portobello Market, Notting Hill 2, Westbourne and beyond, Kensington Gardens, Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, Edgware Road, Marlborne, Regent's Park, Camden, Primrose Hill and St John's Wood, Bloomsbury, Bloomsbury 1, a literary stroll, Bloomsbury 2, the British Museum and beyond, Clerkenwell, Islington, Spitalfield 1, Fashion and Bangalore Land, Spitalfield 2, a tour of the hipster markets. Now again, of course, some of this might be well have uh, changed. But the, uh, the map itself should still be accurate. Hoxton, because of course you're walking. So. Docklands and Canary Wharf. Greenwich 1 in and around the University of Greenwich. Greenwich 2, which is Greenwich Park. Hammersmith and Chiswick. Richmond, that's an awesome walk, done that one, as is the Kew Gardens one. Hampstead and Hampstead Heath. So yeah, there you have it, that's a flick through of the City Walks London 50 Adventures on foot. Hopefully it's still available and available and has further been completely revised and updated since i bought this thanks once again for watching bye for now and i will catch you in the next video